Kia ora koutou. Thanks, uh, thanks for coming. As you'll be aware by now, uh, this afternoon we issued a notice <coughs> to residents in uh, Waikawaiti and Karatane not to drink their uh, tap water, as a, largely as a precautionary measure on public health advice uh, while we try and ascertain the cause of, uh, of lead contamination in the water supply. Uh, we've sent uh, a, a fleet of supply tankers north uh, to supply those residents uh, and our staff are meeting with local businesses and local residents both this evening and through tomorrow uh, to, uh, to let them know what's going on and to help them get through what is a, a certainly disruptive uh, and, uh, and, and difficult time for them. These aren't uh, ever the situations that you want to find yourselves in as a local authority but we have uh, our finest uh, people on the job you know, trying to get on top of this and, and figure out what it is that we need to do to address uh, to address the, this uh, situation and, and get that supply uh, operating again as, as soon as as soon as we can, and so I thank uh, the residents and, and affected businesses um, of of the northern townships up, up in East Otago for uh, for their um, for their support and, and for their uh, patience uh, over the coming uh, hours and days. At this point. Uh, I just want to hand over to uh, Mr. Dyer, uh, who can speak from uh, an operational perspective, and then I understand uh, Dr. Jack has some uh, comments that she wishes to make from a public health perspective. Thanks. Uh, so late last year, uh, we were undertaking some testing for the purposes of asset management. Um, so we were looking at uh, we were looking at a corrosivity study in our um, water network. Um, to do that, we were testing for metals, and we had the um, we had some unexpected results and discovered some uh, high levels of lead in the network. Um, those levels have been fluctuating. Um, the, the high levels have been um, periodic and um, for a short period of time. Um, we, upon receiving those results, um, so we received those results uh, late last year um, and have acted um, in the new year. We were expecting, um, we weren't expecting these results they weren't undertaken for a uh, for the purposes of um, uh, drinking water standards compliance they were additional to we've uh, since then we've um, we've sought advice from public health south and that um, that advice has been forthcoming um, uh, both late last week and, and this morning um, and have determined that it's appropriate to take a precautionary approach approach and issue a um, do not drink notice um, it's important that we differentiate uh, between a do not drink notice and a boil water notice. Um, boiling the water in this situation doesn't reduce the risk. Um, but but um, so, so from here we'll be um, undertaking a bit more testing, um, uh, trying to understand the source of lead. There are multiple possibilities, um, uh, multiple lines of inquiry that will take us some time to, to work through. Um, but we'll be cooperating and working really closely with Public Health South to ensure that we um, that we achieve an outcome that um, uh, gets water available to um, customers at their taps in a safe form as soon as possible. Thank you. So kia ora. So as has been mentioned, this is a precautionary approach. Uh, it's been intermittent spiking of high lead levels, um, but because we don't know where the source is, um, we're taking this time, DCC is going to be doing further investigation. So it's do not drink, do not use the water for food preparation, but you can use the water for showering, for um, washing your hands, for washing clothes, etc. As has also been mentioned, don't boil the water, that actually concentrates lead and makes it worse. So it's do not drink or use the water for food preparation, but you can use the water for other measures and we'll be working closely with DCC around the public health um, consequences of this.